Man, oh man, have I got one for you today. Welcome to the future, because what do we have? We have a PC on a stick. How cool is that? Now that might not make a lot of sense to you, but I'm going to open this up and show you exactly what I'm talking about. And then we're going to get into some specs and details and see how this little guy works. That's right, there's a Windows 10 computer inside this box. How cool is that? All right, we're going to open, we're going to have to break the seal here. All right, let's open her up. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, where is it at? Right here. This is the computer. Check this out. This is literally a Windows 10 PC. Now granted, you're not gonna do hours of heavy gaming with this, but what you can do with this is schoolwork, some light office work, you can do browsing, shopping, you can make Zoom calls and have access to all your Windows applications for those things. How cool is that, right? And the way it works is you pull this little cap off and you plug it straight into a monitor or a TV and power it up and it's going to boot right up. How neat is this? I mean, it just blows me away that something this small is so capable that I can just literally plug this into a television set and I have a mini PC for my kids to do their, their home school work. We can use this to make our dumb TV a smart TV because now we can use Hulu, Netflix, and all these other streaming services as well. Plus we can use it for making video chats, talking online, and probably even play in some lighter online games as well. But granted it is a small PC. So gaming is not really on the list, but who knows, right? So let's go ahead. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into the box and see what all we get. And it comes with a HDMI extension or pigtail, meaning this would plug into the little mini PC on the back and that gives you a little extra cord so you can plug in a longer HDMI cable into it. That's a very nice accessory. And they give you the power cord, because you do have to plug it up for power. It does have a cooling fan in there as well to help keep the processor and everything nice and cool. And you also have a manual. Very neat. Now, looking on the outside of this, and I don't know how well you can see it, but here's your HDMI out for connecting it to your television. And say if your HDMI port comes straight out and this would be hitting the wall, well then you would plug this into your television and then plug your mini PC into this and that's going to allow it to not interfere with the wall. That's why they give you this little cord for convenience. Now on the side of this little fellow you have a power button, you have where your power cord goes in, and you have two USB 3.0 ports. Very very neat. And what is also cool about this, it also supports Bluetooth. So if you plug this up behind your TV well, all you need is a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to actually control this and to use it. A very neat, handy option. It also connects to dual band Wi-Fi, meaning 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. But you're probably wondering about the actual processor itself. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the specs of what's actually in this little box. It's an Intel Celeron N4000 four megabyte processor with a base frequency of 1.1 gigahertz and up to 2.6 gigahertz in burst. It has four megabytes of cache. It draws about six watts. The GPU is an Intel HD Graphics 600 and it's got 128 gigabytes of storage. How cool is that? 128 gigs that you can put in this little mini Windows 10 PC. And yes, Windows 10 is pre-installed, ready to go. And as I said before, it supports Bluetooth 4.2. So a very capable mini PC. Let's plug it up. I'm going to go ahead and just plug it into my monitor right here and let's see exactly how it does. All right, so we just plugged this little guy into my big 4K monitor that I use for video editing. And I used the two USB ports to hook up my keyboard and mouse. How cool is that? So we're just waiting on it. It's doing its first start. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop and I'm going to go ahead and go through the initial setup of Windows 10 and then we'll come back and take a look at the actual PC screen itself. I mean this thing is loading up like a regular Windows 10 PC and it's this tiny little stick that is hanging below my monitor back there. I'm just blown away. 
Okay, so here we are. It's fully loaded. I can barely, barely hear the fan spinning from here. We are connected to my Wi-Fi as well. I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to just surf the web for a second because primarily you're gonna use this for web surfing. All right, so we have the internet up and running. You can see it's the Windows 10 desktop. Very, very cool. Now, primarily you are gonna be using this thing for like online shopping, reading, browsing the web. You can use it to make conference calls and, and things like that. Light office work, school work, just mostly web-based stuff. You're not gonna run any heavy programs on this, but for a little PC that you can stick in your purse, it's just amazing. I mean, I'm connected through Wi-Fi, and you can see how quick these pages are loading up for me. I mean, look at this video coming in. Now, granted, it is a little bit slower than what, say, a full-size computer is, but it's supposed to be. It's the size of a stick. I mean, come on. And you can tell by the playback on the video, no lagging, no problems whatsoever. And it was probably loading a little bit slower because it's probably my, my Wi-Fi connection. I'm always having internet issues. So the fact that it's putting these videos out and loading them that quick is super, super cool. Yes, we are getting ready for a hurricane. As you can see, you can scroll, no problems, nice and fast. If you click on a different link, it loads right away. Just a very capable little stick PC. I mean, I'm just impressed that I'm sitting here on something just plugged into my TV and I'm running Windows 10. Let's see what else we have in here. You can see that you have all the regular setups. And as you can see, you have the full size version of Windows 10. This is not a mini version. This is not a cutback version. This has everything from Skype to Paint to Office, Cortana. You can set your alarms. I mean, everything's here. Very, very nice. Very convenient. Awesome for travel and great for if you're going on the road. If your kids need to do their schoolwork and their schoolwork is web-based and you're going on vacation, well, guess what? You bring this and you can plug it into any hotel TV and they can do their schoolwork. If you need to make a Zoom call or a conference call, you can do that as well. Just bring your webcam, plug it into the mini PC, sign in, and chat away. Just very nice and very convenient. So tell me, what do you think about this mini PC? It's running right now. Can you hear it? The fan is running. That's as loud as it gets. I would probably advise to remove the sticker off the back to make sure all those vent holes are uncovered, unlike what I did. But like I said, this is great for school work. It's great for light office work. It's great to take with you on office trips and road trips in case you have kids like mine that are homeschooled and they need to catch up on their web-based schoolwork. You can send emails, you can do online shopping, you can do web browsing, keep up on the news and the weather, just all of the light duty tasks that you can think of that will fit in your front pocket. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.